Hundreds of gay rights activists have staged a protest in Belgium in front of uh, the Russian consulate. The rally in Antwerp continued a wave of demonstrations against a new Russian law banning the promotion of homosexuality to minors. The main focus of the protest is towards the Sochi Winter Olympics, which activists hope will be moved elsewhere. But some statements have been raising more than a few eyebrows. For example, renowned actor Stephen Fry compared President Putin to Hitler and how he treated minorities. The Olympic Committee stepped in, saying sports should be available to all, and the new law will not affect those attending the Games. British journalist Neil Clark believes the reason for criticism lies beyond gay rights. In Nazi Germany, homosexuals really were discriminated against. They were put into concentration camps and killed in large numbers. And of course, this is not happening in Russia today. If it was, I'd be the first person saying we've got to boycott Russia altogether. It's not happening. What's happened in Russia is we've got a new law which uh, bans the promotion of homosexuality to under 18s. Now, I'm not saying I support that law. I oppose all anti-gay laws wherever they're passed in the world. But why is Stephen Fry focusing on Russia? There are about 80 countries in the world, Marina, where homosexuality is actually illegal. One of them is a country called Qatar, where the World Cup is going to be held in 2022. You can go to prison for five years there if you're homosexual. It's political. I think, there's, as I said, there's 80 countries, about 80 countries in the world who have worse records on gay rights than Russia. Stephen Fry isn't talking about them. So I think it shows double standards here, and it shows this kind of Russia-phobia, I think, among the Western elite, that they look down at Russia. They patronise them, and the, this idea that in Russia people are more homophobic, they're racist, it's nonsense. It's not true.